this power. She just say, feel my fuck? That's some sexy ass shit! Let's see what this flat ass girl is all about! Okay, so first off, if you have not played Fire Emblem Awakening, then similar to Bowser's Breath, you will be spoiled. So, like Chris Hardwick does after an episode of Smelly People Survival Show the series, I'll give you five seconds, starting now. She's a nigga's daughter from the future! She's a nigga's daughter from the future! She's your daughter, this is your daughter! Your daughter, your daughter, your daughter, your daughter, your daughter! I know you wanna bang her, but she's your daughter! You sick, fucking, courageous fuck! Ah! She's your daughter! Your daughter, your daughter, your daughter, your daughter! I'm talking daughter! Okay, I think we can stop the countdown now. <laughs> now, by knowing that this girl, Lucina, is Crime's daughter, we not only ruin one of the biggest surprises of the game, we also ruin his erection. Wait, you're... you're a woman? Yeah, but... uh... Wait, nigga. You should probably go back and see my spoiler reveal from a few seconds ago before you get all crime crazy. Then again, the phrase... You're... You're a woman? It's not the particular phrase that most fine-ass girls get when people see them. For instance, if you look at Camilla's fine, purpley, big-titted, succulent, super-sized, titanic, bay-filled, childish, gambino, new album, singing, cleavage stuff, new Taco Bell, dollar crunch, strategy game, story. Sorry. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Titties are great! And of course, we all know the phrase here is, uh, tater tots all day, every day. Tater tots all, huh? Wait a minute. Yeah, okay, horny shadow people, I know that's not it. But, uh, it's kind of what we gotta deal with today. Okay! Anyway, even though Lucina shows basically what is somewhat of a lump there, let's not negate the fact that she is pretty damn fine. I mean, remember Paulatina? She was never the thickest in the world, but she still bay as fuck. But Lucina got long, dark, bluish hair with pretty ass blue eyes to match. And, uh, damn girl, what the fuck happened to your sword? Look like a goddamn shop ass bottle opener. Huh. So Lucina obviously has a gigantic drinking problem. But that's okay, because she dresses with style and also only has two belts. Unlike your fucking average Square Enix character. The hell is wrong with this bitch? And rocks the Yeezys 2020. So we know that Lucina. Uh, I can't take it. Damn it, you just lucky you look like that, because girl, you dress terrible. First off, that goddamn Party City ass Batman mask. It don't make you look cool. It just look like some dickhead gave him to you that probably wears that shit regularly. And who coulda? Oh, this masked penis right here, Jerome. Yeah, don't trust Jerome. But furthermore, don't trust yourself. Because let's look at what she first used for a disguise. <laughs> what the hell? People wouldn't be afraid of you. They just slowly direct you to the nearest insane asylum. And when she loses her sacred tiara, she replaces it with bear ears. Huh. Yeah. So let's remember that friends don't let their friends embarrass themselves with bad fashion. Wait, what am I saying? Of course they do. <laughs> Look at her fucking glasses. Oh yeah. Also, she can fly. Or um, why else does she have a cape? Regardless, the shit at least looks cool. But uh... Honestly, fuck everything I just previously said, because the outfit we really want to see is under that uniform. And that's because of that goddamn onesie she got on. Mm. Well, actually, that's only sort of... Mm. Let's get a better picture. Ah, oh, yeah! <laughs> now, again. Mm. But I love to look at that onesie whenever she strikes. Or when she slips on a banana peel. Or when she just fucking takes it off and shows that brand of naga ass. Oh yeah, you probably thought she just rocked it in her eye, but no, she also has it on her ass because she's infatuated with her father. 
Who else who walks it on his ass? Ah! But I guess the sexy part of Lucina is always trying to imagine what's under that onesie. And if it's anything like these pictures, then I'm really glad you packed the good shit with you on your trip back from the future. Oh shit. I wanna get freaky with your time traveling ass. So much sexy. But take off the fucking mask. You know what? Put the fucking mask back on! <laughs> oh yeah. You just crazy as all hell. Now say, I'm Batman. <laughs> now where's your goddamn bear helmet? Seriously, she got my loins of fire. Um. I'ma fuck you. You know, that onesie actually reminds me of somebody. But who could that be? Oh yeah, Samus, my dude. Now we all know that Samus wears the hottest onesie in the known galaxy. But what if... <laughs> oh yeah! Rule 34 represents itself once again, goddammit! So look at how happy Lucina is being in Samus' zero suit. <laughs> zero happy, nigga. <laughs> and, uh, I don't really know what's going on, but whatever it is, goddammit, I'm glad it's happening. So, even with that bear hat and psycho glasses, she's a pretty serious motherfucker, even in toy form. Like, that's a face that I even scared a monster high dogs the fuck away. And she's probably so serious because, like a lot of girls around her age, she deals with regular daddy issues. Like, traveling back in time to save her daddy so the world doesn't get fucking destroyed by fire! Okay, so maybe not that regular, but that makes it even more confusing as to why she tries to kill crime when she first sees him. Which could have really ended fucked up. There's no way. What about your daughter from the future? Ow! Of course, trying to hide her identity, she uses the name Marth as an alias. Which is the ugliest name I've ever heard. Marth. Sound like a damn growth on your leg. But Marth is this dude from old school Fire Emblem that Tiki's fine ass almost mistook you for. Damn. Slow, let's look at Tiki right quick. Shit. Some fine ass girls in this game. Lucina also is in a few other games showing her sexy but serious ass. Of course in Smash, where we see her fighting this remedial race car driver that fights people by saying his own name on some timid shit. Welcome. And we get another nice look at her body. I mean, it's not cocky. It's not mine. It definitely ain't Tifa. But still, something about her still attracts me to her ass. On the other hand, I wouldn't have minded if they designed her like this. Oh yeah. But on the other other hand, I can still rock with just this. And I also love her fucking legs. Very lickable. She even gets beautified later. But, ah oh, damn. Why she gotta wear a robe and everybody else is in G-strings and shit? It ain't fair. Whatever. Internet, help me out. Ah, yeah. Lucina brushing her teeth. I don't fucking know. But it beats a damn robe. She's also in Project X Zone 2 with her daddy, and she busts out the wedding dress whenever she fights. See, she's fine as hell when she's drawn right, and even better when she's drawn nasty. Like right here, where she's eating a Subway sandwich. Although it ain't a damn Subway sandwich, but it is a foot long. Or these bikini shots of her. Ah, yeah. Uh, uh. I don't even remember seeing a beach in the damn game. But goddammit, there's never a wrong time to wear a bikini. And this picture, where what you think is happening, is happening. Then finally, this picture right here where we go back to comparing the finery. Lucina versus Paulatina. Well, huh. You, you're fucking making it tough for me with this picture. So, I'll just skip the controversy and not answer. <laughs> Now, let's go ahead and give another brand to her fine but unfashionable ass. Lucina gets an eight. She's good looking, sincere, and talks to her baby self. We have not had one bitch that's had the ability to do that shit yet. And she challenges her fate. And I don't even know what the fuck that means. What, every time something bad happens to you, you gonna go back in time and redo it? Live with your fucking mistakes and stop challenging shit. But still show me that ass. Good girl. So Lucina is probably one of my favorite character girls we've had on this show. I love her personality, and she still looks good as well. So therefore, let me see if I can cinema screen me some time with her. Um. 
I wanna see into that onesie! Really? Oh shit, nigga, damn! <laughs>